how to get your first client. In today's session, I'm gonna take you through some beautiful stuff so you can have a client. Now, if you're thinking, why do I need a client? If you wanna start a business, then you have to start looking at life as clients. All a business needs is clients, clients, clients. So how do you get clients? And if you're someone that's watching this right now and you've had enough of your job, you want your boss to die, Starting your own business is probably the best decision for you because it allows you more choice and more freedom. And the day I decided to start my own business was the day I set myself free. Now, I was fortunate. I started when I was very young. I just never wanted to work for someone else. I just didn't like having no control over my time. It wasn't from an ego-based decision. It was the fact that I had someone else saying I had to be there when I didn't know whether I wanted to be there all the time. So how do you get your first client? First of all pick whether you want to do a product or a service now today if you're doing something online selling products is beautiful it always goes back into what does the market want so the key is to research the market write down right now what is a problem that you could find that you could solve and how would you do that would it be with a service or would it be with a product now here's the deal think about what people need because here's how the human evolves So here's how we move forward in life. We're always looking for quicker ways to do stuff. You know, this is the beauty of the world in which we, we're in at. So if you can think about what does the market need right now, and it might not be something brand new. For example, Uber. I talk about Uber a lot. I love it. I think it's a beautiful service, right? Uber are just providing a more efficient, quicker taxi service. Is it brand new? No, it's just a quicker, more efficient way in which we do something. So think about what is the problem you can resolve and how could you do it quicker than something else look at the market look at what is already working in the market how can you improve on that you don't need to reinvent the wheel right so once you've started to pick a product you picked a service in some shape or form how you get clients this is the ultimate way this is the reverse engineering are you ready to reverse engineer it you get your products and service and you get a group of people and you get them to test it this is called a case study offer during this period you're taking on feedback do they use it well do they like it how can you improve it how can you get it better all of the ways in which you can improve it. And you're gonna do that for a low entry, free or no money at all. And the reason being is you're gonna collect all of these testimonials and they're gonna be your marketing material of which you're gonna put on social media so you can start getting more clients. Now, Windows, Bill Gates does this beautifully. There was a very famous story where he had Windows in China. They were all ripping it for free. They weren't paying for it. He allowed it to happen because he wanted to look at new ways in which to make his product better, more efficient. Rather than just saying, you know, don't use it. He wanted them to use it. He says in this famous interview, he would rather they be ripping his off than someone else's because he knew that he'd be able to monetize that within time. Don't let overwhelm stop you from doing the thing you want to do. Take more action. Go out and start the process. Pick a product, pick a service. Look at what the market wants. Apply that solution to the problem. Apply your way of doing it, your niche way. Open up a case study. Get your family, your friends. You know, I had a t-shirt business. I put t-shirts in the back of my car, drove to our target market and got them to purchase it. Took on that feedback and said, look, why don't you want to buy it? The designs, get some skin in the game, get people to actually take cash out of their wallet to say, want to buy that. If they don't want to buy it, why don't they want to buy it? Understand why they don't want to buy it. That's the number one objection you must understand. Why someone doesn't want to buy something is critical information. All right, that's it from today's session. Comment below. Let me know what you thought of this video. As always, no matter what happens, never give up on your dreams and I'll look forward to seeing you you on the next video.